Mika! Amazing news! The Big Apple City Museum of Natural History is hosting a seminar tonight on the various strands of rock candy native to the Stone Fruit Mountains. A seminar on rocks? That sounds fascinating! I was hoping I could spend an evening of educational rocking and rolling with my little limestone. That would magma day. <laughs> <laughs> See you tonight! It's pretty adorable how much you and your papa have in common. Hello, my dearest daughter. I have the most stupendous news. Coco Lachelle is showing her new fashion collection tonight, and I have two tickets. As I'm quite chiffoned of you, I was hoping we could attend together. Uh-huh. See you tonight. Why? How can you go to the rock seminar and the fashion show? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Papa taught me to love learning, but Dad taught me to love fashion. I love both. No matter what I do, I'm letting one of them down. I can't make a decision. I'm really so confused. I don't like these options. Each choice means that I still lose. This or that, or those or these. Oh, I don't really know. I'm split right down the middle. Which way should I go? Any way you slice it, I miss out on something fun. Everything is ruined even before it's begun. Any way you slice it, the answer I can't see. I'm pulled in both directions, but both directions are me. I think I might go this way. No, wait, I think that's wrong. Go back and turn around now. I still can't find where I belong. Right or left, left or right or, or up or down. down. Each way is not quite right. I'm split right down the middle while both sides fight. Any way you slice it, I miss out I on miss something out fun. On something before it's begun. Any way you slice it, the answer I can't see. I'm pulled in both directions, but both directions are me. There's a lot of slices when you bake a cake. Delicious choices, which one to take? Oh, it doesn't matter when each one is great. So whatever What are you doing here? I have a date with our daughter. What are you doing here? Actually, there's an exhibit at the Cuban Time Museum about the history of Big Apple City fashion. I was thinking maybe we could all go together. We can both spend the evening doing something we love. Exactly. History for you and fashion for you. No, Mika. <laughs> what we both love most is spending time as a family, both of us together with you. That is one adorable family. My costume is perfect. Great Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows. <laughs> right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Fright Ball Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries. No berry does fright ball like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <laughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a fright ball ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's fall ball. But Raspberry Tart said. <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? 
I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow, Custard. Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close a howling cry. Bright time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time, time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. Wear a costume, scare a friend. The thrills and chills don't have to be. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and frightacular tonight. Do you want to be? Just use your creativity And let your inner monster free and jump and scream BOOM! It's kind of fun to be afraid And watch the creatures on parade Add candy and you've got it made And tricks the whole night through It's a frightful night So chill and delightful Spooky shadows everywhere Have fun, cut loose, let down your hair A frightful night So join in the fun Delicious and frightacular tonight Shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! I have questions. No time to answer. Too busy! So, my favorite show ever, Fight of the City, is shooting their next episode Berry works and auditions are today. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm freaking out. Which one are you entering? None of those are good enough. I've baked for Kiki Keyline before. She knows me. My dish has to be amazing. Something she won't forget. Garbage. <laughs> Starting over. Shortcakes is re-baking her cake. Again? She should probably hurry, right? Yes! Auditions are starting. Okay, you can do this, Strawberry. Just make one perfect dessert. Mm. This is from the Purple Pie Shop. You're supposed to actually bake? Wow, and your parents are raspberry ambrosia and mulberry tart? No wonder you're so good. Where are you, shortcakes? Finally done. On my way. Oh, perfect. Oh! No! Tough day, huh? What if they don't pick me? Then they don't pick you. Being on the show would be the icing on your whole Big Apple City adventure. But it's not the cake. The cake is your new friends and running your own truck and, and living with me, the best part. And if I'm not the baker I think I am, you won't know unless you try. Mm. And I'd say you are pretty fantastic. You know what? I am fantastic. Orange, I'll be there soon. 
Just stall Kiki Key Lime a little longer. Mm -hmm. Did you bring a dessert? No. This delicious exchange of energy is more than enough for me. You said this was rock candy? Nope. Just rocks. Shortcake! An actual baker! Where have you been? I was panicking. I was so worried I wouldn't be enough that I almost didn't try. But then I realized if I didn't try, I couldn't give you these key lime rookie cake truffles. Hmm. <laughs> this was a tough one, folks, but there were two berries that were really impressive. Raspberry tart and strawberry shortcake. Yeah! 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 He picked me. Woo, what a day. But we finally finished our last order. Now we just have to deliver this to 1313 Scary Berry Lane. Did you say 1313 Scary Berry Lane? What the? It is not even cloudy. Marzipan Manor, the haunted house at the top of the hill. Hold up, hold up. Haunted? Ugh. What a bunch of applesauce. You don't believe in haunted houses, do you? Of course not. But, like, tell me everything. How about I show you? Okay, so it's a fixer-upper. According to legend, the owner was obsessed with baking marzipan men cookies! You mean gingerbread men cookies? Gingerbread men are sweet. Marzipan men are evil. One night, during a terrible thunderstorm, the marzipan men cookies came to life and... What? And what? No, Barry, no. But he was never heard from again. Shall we see what's inside? Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Do you think that's the ghost of the owner? Or a talking cookie? Neither. It's probably some elderberry. We have your order! Give it to me, or I will destroy you! Creepy at all. We're good. We're good. Ah, we're not good! Girl, it's a mixer. Okay, okay. Wait, where's Blueberry? Oh, over here! Blueberry, watch out! Oh, stop! It's a Buddha's hand fruit. They taste amazing in tarts. Now come here. We'll just drop these off and go home. Holy donuts! Blueberry. Put the cookie cutter down. It's freaking strawberry out. Sure thing. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Please tell me you have a rational explanation for that. I do not. What are you doing here? Every berry move! <laughs> Get back here! What's wrong, girls? Huh? Mr. Mangosteen? Why are you here? My fiance, Bobby Banana Bee, and I just bought the place. We've been cleaning it up and getting rid of the excessive amount of oddly dangerous cookware. Wait, 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 but, but, but what about that horrible voice? Thanks for the smoothie. <clears throat> Much better. All the dust in here gave me a sore throat. But you said you would destroy us. Oh, I was playing Barry Brothers Smash on my phone upstairs. Come on, girls. Let me show you the reason Bobby and I bought this old place. We couldn't pass up this garden. Maybe we did let our imaginations run a little wild. Oh, look. 
Another marzipan man. We keep finding these little guys everywhere. <laughs> Gingerbread men are sweet. Marzipan men are evil. Do you girls want to stay? No, thanks. Gotta go now. Bye. Strawberry buttercream, citrus caramel crunch, huckle blueberry mousseline, raspberry gelée, and two berries on top. I can't believe Crab Apple Jam is throwing Ben Offie's birthday bash right here in the greenhouse. I can't believe she asked us to make the cake. Is it too big? Crab Apple Jam said the bigger the better. What is she up to? What's the catch? No catch. Just good, honest baking. And Banoffee's gonna love it! <gasps> Not if she never sees it! Where did you two come from? The Cumin Time Museum, where Banoffee's birthday party is. Didn't you hear it's moved? No! Oh, however will you get such a big cake there in the next 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> And there's the catch. Don't you worry. Strawberry shortcake and raspberry tart know how important this is. I'm sure they won't let you down. Where are they? I cannot believe he moved the party and didn't sue us. Was complaining. More pushing. We have less than 20 minutes. as a herd of turtles. But what exactly did you deliver? <laughs> this? Well, <clears throat> uh, this is... Um, so it's... Special uh, delivery for Banabi! <gasps> oh, we figured you would appreciate a dramatic entrance. After all... For Banafi, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> it wasn't hard to figure out what happened. They left layers of cake all over the city. Seems like you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. <laughs> when you have good friends, everything is a piece of cake. Camping trip together with all my very best. I used to love sleeping under the stars in Berryville. It really is nice to get in touch with nature. Where's everybody else? <gasps> I feel a disturbance in the forest. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> I love the smell of filter purified air in the morning. Wow, this is like a mansion. On wheels! In the woods! It's also not camping. Nope. It's better. 
It's glamping. The Extravagance Express has Wi-Fi, a solar generator, a rooftop bowling alley, and this. We're supposed to be roughing it! I'm walking in the dirt. What else do you want? Camping, glamping. As long as we're together, does it really matter? We can have both. Great idea! It'll be a contest. You set up your way, we set up our way, then we'll see what's best. No, no, that's... And whoever wins gets to decide how the rest of the weekend goes. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Campers versus glampers. It is on! Oh, that really escalated quickly. The best way to keep the bugs off? How do you get rid of bugs, Blueberry? I just ask nicely. <laughs> the best way to fish? Ah, I prefer to use Luxure Eats. They'll deliver anywhere. Sushi, any berry? On! I think the best way to relax out here is with a little music. So relaxing. There! The best way to start the fire. Not quite the together with all my besties trip I was hoping for. So, it all comes down to dinner. Base Glamp has sweet potato stew, grilled shrimp, and lavender marshmallow fluff honeycomb for dessert. And what are the campers eating? We're having hot dogs. It's safe to say Base Glamp is the... What just happened? You've been running your RV all day, so it's out of juice. And that means... No fire, no massage chairs, no music, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> nope. Ah! Oh, oh, help! Help! Oh, help! Oh, 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 the campers are happy to share our fire with the glampers. As long as you all say camping is better. Fine. Camping is Never mind! <gasps> glampers and campers are all getting wet. Thank you, Thunderstorm, you great equalizer, yeah! Veggie tray, any berry? This camping and glamping trip is pretty great, even if we don't get to sleep under the stars. Oh, there's an app for that. Ooh. Technology. Ooh. <laughs> any berry have a phone charger? Chocolate and rum raisin? And done. Pineapple and grass. Too sour. Coming up with unique ice cream flavors isn't easy. You have to clear your mind and let the universe guide you to something truly taste-tastic. Caramel and relish. <laughs> Some days the universe isn't very helpful. Hmm, I'll try this and this and this. Too many flavors. So cold. <laughs> I've got a butter cake that needs a little something extra. And that something extra is ice cream. I mean, it's a vanilla butter cake, and the only ice cream flavor I can think of to go with it is vanilla. And I mean, come on, vanilla on vanilla is just so obvious. And I don't want to be obvious, so I do not want vanilla. What flavor do I want? You're the expert, what should I do? Vanilla. Right, that's what I don't want. <laughs> Blueberry, are you okay? <gasps> Cheesecake! Blueberry's frozen! No, not just frozen! She's got brain freeze! Why didn't you tell me?
chance to thaw her out. At least we can snack while we wait. Marshmallow and cheese. Yeesh! <laughs> that is an interesting combo. I mean, Blueberry would love it if she ever snaps out of this whole frozen thing. If the campfire doesn't work, uh -huh. sure, what will do? Hey. Maybe some sort of sauna? Or, oh, maybe some hot peppers. Yeah, that could... Ow! Oh, pull the scone! It's not about warming up her body. It's about warming up her creativity. With something weird, wacky. <gasps> This sweet, cheesy, smoky combo should do the trick. Cheesecake, why didn't you think of this? Humph. Billy tapioca, I love it! Marshmallows, cheese, and smoke! The perfect pairing of sweet and savory. I'll call it Camembert Campfire Crunch. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, my taste buds. Uh, yeah, I went with vanilla on vanilla. It's bite of the city. <laughs> huh? oh. We're throwing a little soiree in the clubhouse so we can all watch Kiki Key Lime Super Sweet New Year's Eve special. We're just hours from the countdown and a live performance from Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairy. I love the Berry Fairy. <gasps> My arguments are legendary. Contrary Berry. I can't wait until midnight when the gumball drops in time spare. Or right here, it's a Mecca Mini Gumball Dropper. Sink to the big one in time spare. Lemon, that's great. But there's only one place I want to be tonight, and that's right here with my fairy besties. Strawberry, we have to go now! Raspberry, what are you talking about? Check your phone! Kiki Key Lime invited the two of us to hang out! <laughs> <laughs> but we made these plans, and... Do not even worry about it. The universe and Kiki want you there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is all very sweet, but we have to go! Best New Year's Eve ever! Kiki will be here shortly. Help yourself to craft services. <laughs> Look at us, backstage, craft services. Waiting for Kiki Key Lime. We have arrived. This is our destiny. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Our destiny is kind of cold. Well, I'm sure <laughs> Kiki just needs to recover from those bright lights on stage. Besides, it's not that cold. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little cold. There they are. Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart. I'm so glad you can make it. We are going to have so much fun. Tell me absolutely everything you've been up to. Well... We were so excited to come here because we knew that you Sherry Bobbleberry is gonna be late. She can't be late. We can't postpone midnight. <sighs> Sorry, girls. Need to handle this tiny thing. Then it's all us. You're gonna love it up on that stage. I'm sure she'll be right back. Everything we've ever wanted. We're almost ready for you. In just a few minutes, you'll be standing next to Kiki and waving. Won't that be the best New Year's ever? Best New Year's ever. Right. Okay, maybe tonight's not perfect. It's cold and Sherry Bumbleberry was late. But the two of us are gonna get to stand on stage near Kiki Key Lime. Every fairy will see us up there. What could possibly be better than this? Well... It's almost gumball drop time! There's Kiki! But where's Raspberry and Shortcakes? Shouldn't they be with her? Nah, they had better places to be. Huh? You're back? The universe did not prepare me for this. Well, what happened? Well, we told Kiki that we really appreciated her invite, but there was only one place we wanted to be tonight, and that's right here with our very besties. Aww. Aww. 
Besides that gumball in Times Pear, pfft, not nearly as impressive as a Mecha Mini Gumball Dropper. Ten. Hurry up, it's time! Eight! Seven! Okay, two, you're right. Five, this four, is better. Three, <laughs> I know. Two! One! <laughs> 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 Lemon! 